Hey YouTubers, I want to talk about a couple of different Ryobi 18 volt 1 plus power inverters. Now this one I've had for a couple of years now. This is the Ryobi RYI 150BG. This one I just picked up. This is the RYI 150C. Both of these are currently available online at Ryobi.com and at your local Home Depot. I suspect that this model is going to get phased out, so it may get marked down uh, from its regular price and then be unavailable. The reason I say that is the new model does everything this does and then some. And as much as I like this and I have used it and I used to recommend it, I can no longer recommend it now that this is available. So let me explain what each of them does. Let's start with the RYI 150BG. All right. Plug in your 18 volt 1 plus battery. Power it on. And now I have a 120 volt, 150 watt power supply here. So I can power small hand tools, recharge my laptop, etc. And how long I can supply power depends on the size of my battery. Putting a bigger battery on here, we're still limited to 150 watts. So it helps with runtime, but it doesn't add anything over the 150 watt that this supplies. Okay, I also have two USB-A ports that are both rated for 5 volt at 2.4 amp. And there's a small built-in flashlight. This thing really comes in handy if you want to power something remotely. Maybe you don't want to fool with an extension cord or it's not practical to use an extension cord. And it comes in really handy when the power goes out and you want to keep things going. Uh, like I said, I've had this for some time. I've used it quite a bit. I, I like it, but I can no longer recommend it. Here's why. All right, this sells for $99 for the two only. The Ryobi RY150C sells for $129. It does everything this did. It comes with more stuff, and it does things this is not capable of. So let me talk about some of the differences. Okay, for $129, you get the tool. You get a battery with the LED power meter. You get a Ryobi AC charger, which is capable of 30 watt through the PD port or 18 watt through the USB-A port. And you get a USB-C cable. Now this does everything the old version did, and then some. I still have 150 watt of 120 volt power here. I still have two USB-A ports, but they're capable of adjusting the output to fit the needs of your USB-A device. These ports can supply 5 volt at 3 amps, 9 volt at 3 amps, 12 volt at 2.5 amp, 15 volt at 2 amp, or 20 volt at 1.5 amp. And just like the other model, there's a light. Not only does this come with more accessories and a battery, but it does more. The big news is here on the back. Here I have a USB-C power delivery or PD port that can deliver up to 30 watts. What this means is if your phone or tablet or laptop can handle this much juice, this thing can charge it much faster. 
Some devices don't even recognize that you're trying to charge them unless you supply them with a PD power source. So some devices would not charge at all off of the USB-A connection, but would recognize that you're attempting to charge them off of this USB-C PD port. So this is a big deal. And so for only $30 more, you get a more versatile USB-A ports on the front. You get a USB-C port on the back. You get this power adapter and cable, and it has one more trick up its sleeve. I'm also going to throw in a bonus tip, so stick around to the end of the video. If I plug that in, plug into the USB port here on the back, and I plug this into an outlet, and I think I can reach my outlet here. Just barely. There we go. This can also recharge your One Plus batteries. So it also acts as a charger. My little bonus tip for this is that I keep this on my workbench plugged into a power strip and I've got an open port here so I have a cable that I picked up online and it has a connector here that will plug into this here and on the other end of this cable I have multiple different connections for charging devices so I have for instance two different lightning ports so I could charge my uh, my AirPods or my iPad or my iPod or my iPhone, I can charge two of those devices at the same time. I have another USB-C charging cable here, so I could charge two USB-C devices at the same time using the supplied cable and this cable. And I have a micro USB port or plug here, so I have a few hand tools that have this type of a connection and a, a shop light that uses this connection to charge. So now I can charge many of my tools using only one outlet on my power strip. So uh, I recommend the new Royobi RYI 150C over the outgoing model. And I, like I say, these are both currently available, but I think this is going to get marked down and then eliminated because this is a much better unit. And I also get the ability to charge up to five different devices on my workbench with only one outlet. So uh, I really recommend this. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe if you did. Thanks.